Southern Cardinals People's Union, Sokapu, has flagged off the distribution of food items, non-food items, and relief materials to internally displaced person IDPs in the region. The relief materials to bring succor to the 148 affected communities with over 200,000 persons displaced includes children, women in IDP camps, and others squatting with their relations in the area. Plus, TV correspondent Habilai Darufai files in this report as presented from our studios. Over the years, Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria, has been worst hit by insecurity activities of banditry, kidnapping for ransom, leading to the loss of lives and properties of innocent citizens in the state. Hundreds of families, communities have left their ancestral homes, farmlands and sources of livelihood due to fear of the bandits in the area. Speaking at the flag of the distribution at the national headquarters of Sokapu in Barnawa, the president of the union, Jonathan Asake, says the 200 million naira donated by Governor Yesom Wike of Rivers to IDPs was shared between the northern and southern parts to victims across the state. He stated the humanitarian crisis caused by terrorism in southern Kaduna has affected so many communities, families, women and children who are now in their need of shelter and medical attention. We are to procure relief items, not only relief items as for food and clothing, but items that also include what has to do with shelter, education, he expressed shock at the alarming rate of out-of-school children and the number of women in IDPs without good care and therefore called on governments at all levels to intervene by creating Southern Kaduna Development Commission to help in addressing the plight of the affected persons in the zone. And we have in our record that no fewer than 148 communities have been displaced out of their homelands. This has resulted in displacing no less than 200,000 people out of their homelands. Mostly the casualties are women and children. Some are in IDP camps, not created by the government. They are in IDP camps that, were, that just came, that are provided by either churches or uncompleted buildings. But most of them are being housed by good-spirited individuals and families. On his part, His Royal Highness Agwan Atiap, Dominic Yahaya, who was represented by Elisha Yahaya, says such a gesture will alleviate the suffering of the people in the IDP's camp and also commended Wike for being an outstanding governor. We wish the government, Parasatas, will do more than what Governor Wenke did. But it's unfortunate that they've not done more than what Governor Wenke did to us. We want to call them to wake up from their sleep and kindly do more than what we expect from them, especially the rebuilding of this complete community that has been raised down. Speaking on peace building resolution and unity in southern Kaduna, the national president of the Atiap Community Development Association, Samuel Achie, described the current situation as a great feat for their community. The southern part of Kaduna and the Atiap community in particular have actually resolved to put behind both political, ethnic, religious, and all kinds of uh, occurrences that led to this crisis put them behind us and fought ahead. Call on all well-meaning Nigerians, especially for the wealthy, in a cause like this to actually contribute to the needs of all those that are in need, especially at this time that we have banditry and many other insecurities. The relief materials include 180 bags of rice, 100 bags of beans, 80 bags of gari, 200 packs of pampas, 200 cartons of indomie, 100 bottles of vegetable oil and educational items, among others. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.